Good. Uh, uh, uh. So it's important to still stay with them so they don't get distracted. Kat here from Standing Stone Kennels and we just had a post recently about a dog on a treadmill and it got a lot of feedback actually. Uh, a lot of questions on how to teach your dog to run on a treadmill. A lot of our um, dogs have been um, a little bit noisy so it helps with keeping them a little bit quieter because they have something else to focus on but a lot of people have been mentioning that it's so cold which uh, it's chilly here but not as cold as it's been up north and they're definitely struggling with these high energy breeds having an opportunity to get them the energy um, burnt off that they need so um, running on a treadmill is definitely something that can really help with that as well as in the summer when it's really hot and you can't get out and condition your dog all that much in the heat of the day uh, this will allow you to do some of that conditioning whether it's too cold or too hot another way that we like to use the treadmill is for mental stimulation as well as the physical side of things uh, we'll get a dog in for training that's a little uncertain about being here a little worked up and this gives them something else to think about instead of focusing on the fact that they're at this new facility and they're worked up and they don't know exactly what's going on. So uh, we get a couple questions on what kind of treadmill do you need. Uh, this is a garage sale special. Uh, the digital readout for the speed doesn't even work anymore. It's just got a little dial. Um, but you can definitely get a dog specific treadmill but it's not necessary. We paid 25 bucks for this thing. A good time to look is right after people have failed at their New Year's resolution. So uh, you might be able to pick one up pretty cheap here fairly soon. Another thing that people always ask is, well, how fast should I run my dog and how long should I run my dog? Well, it really depends on the dog. If you've got a dog that's not in really great shape, a 20 minute run is gonna be a long time for them. Um, as well as if your dog's not used to running on the treadmill yet, like I mentioned before, it's not only physically exhausting, but it can be mentally exhausting. So you'll just have to build up to that depending on their conditioning um, and your dog. So we're gonna help Harley here, who just came in for training today, get comfortable running on the treadmill. So she's never done this before, so we're gonna help her get comfortable. Um, another thing to keep in mind is when you run a dog on a treadmill, it's kind of like them running in the field. What usually happens is they clean out right away. Um, so giving them an opportunity to go to the bathroom, which we have for Harley, is important prior to them running on the treadmill. Otherwise, you might get poop that just keeps going. So come on, come on, Harley. So just getting comfortable getting up on the treadmill. Come on, come on. And every dog's a little bit different. She's playing hopscotch here. Come here. I'm just gonna get a hold of her collar. Now we're doing this outside just because the kennel can get a little bit noisy. Um, and we definitely want you to be able to hear what I'm explaining, especially when everyone wants their turn to run on the treadmill. So I'm gonna clip her up, tether her here to the treadmill. And then I'm gonna just get her back up on the treadmill. Come on. Like I said, some dogs get comfortable sooner than others. And I'm gonna basically turn this on as slow as the treadmill will go. And I'm just gonna help her take one step. She's gonna try and be a little weirded out, which is fine. I'm not going to coddle her and tell her, oh, it's okay, be afraid of the treadmill, because we're not needing to be afraid of the treadmill. Just taking a step, being encouraging. Come on, Harley. Good. I don't have treats or anything like that. Um, I'm just being encouraging. Come on. Good. Just asking her to put one foot in front of the other. And I've got a hold of her collar here to help her stay in the right area of the treadmill. I don't want her bolting off the front of the treadmill, but I don't want her falling off the back of the treadmill either. She's, we're going slow enough that she has enough time to sit down in between steps. So we're definitely not expecting too much of her right now. Good girl, just helping her take steps. Good, come on, come on. We have a couple different length tethers here too, um, depending on the size of the dog and the height of the dog. Come on. So I'm gonna stop this for just a second. Her collar's a little loose, so I wanna actually snug that up so it doesn't pop right off of her head there. And like I said, we're doing this outside. I would hate for her to 
run off on her first day here. So tighten that up one notch. Again, we're gonna start slow. Slowest it'll go. Come on. Come on, Harley. Good girl. Good girl. Taking a couple steps. Come on. She's gonna feel herself, you know, getting to the end of that tether and hopefully take a couple steps. Come on. Come on. Keep walking. Keep walking. Good. Good. Come on. Good. It's also important to never leave your dog unattended on the treadmill. Obviously, she's not super comfortable at this point yet. Um, so if I left, she's just going to hop off or something. But if you get a dog that's gotten comfortable running on the treadmill and you're like, oh, they're good, but they're tethered, if they make one misstep or trip, they could um, definitely hurt themselves and we'd really hate for an accident like that to happen. So always um, stay with your dog when they're running on the treadmill, especially if they're tethered like this. Come on. Good girl, good girl. Just being encouraging. And your first two, three, four treadmill sessions, you might not move farther than just a walk like this. It's just getting them comfortable, one foot in front of the other. So we can't just crank it up and expect them to um, start running right away on the treadmill. We also don't typically ask them to do full out sprints or runs on the treadmill. A light jog is about the fastest that we'll ever expect them to go just because it could you know they could trip they could get off the side a little bit and going from a full-on sprint to a dead stop could really injure them as well so good girl come on Harley good good girl want to try and take a couple faster steps so I'm going to just turn it up a little bit more good good and sometimes getting them into a little bit faster pace and a rhythm doesn't give them time to think about stopping and sitting down between steps and it just allows them to continue getting used to this a little bit faster. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. So she's doing really well for her first session here on the treadmill. Come on. Come on. Just being encouraging if she starts to lag behind a little bit. If she starts going extra fast, um, I might have to give her some tugs backwards actually. Come on, good girl, good girl. Good. Or turn the speed up just a little bit. Good girl. Come on. Good. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop her just so that you can see um, what a dog looks like once they get fully comfortable on the treadmill. I'm going to go ahead and switch her out for our dog Nix, who absolutely loves to run on the treadmill. So I'll be right back. We wanted to pause the video quickly to say thank you for watching. We appreciate your support and your views. If you're enjoying this video and want early access to more content like this and other great training opportunities, then you should check out our dog training community on Patreon. Joining the community gives you access to tons of great stuff, including early access to videos like this one, our Puppy Training Basics video, live Q&A videos, Patreon-only swag, and personalized video responses to your video questions to help you train your dog from home, plus tons of other great stuff. Thanks again for watching, and we look forward to you joining our dog training community on Patreon soon. So we've got Nick's here. Kennel, good. So we'll go ahead. And again, even though he knows how to run on, run on the treadmill, I'm not gonna just crank it up really fast. I want him to get used to the speed and thinking about what he's doing. Um, some dogs, when they get really comfortable running on the treadmill, they start looking around. Good. Uh, uh, uh. So it's important to still stay with them so they don't get distracted. He thinks he can look around while he's running. But we'll let him go a little bit faster, but not a ton faster. Like I said, we don't need an all out sprint. There's a couple notches on here that talk about training, um, speed training zones, and we've got him in the fat burn zone instead of the cool down zone. Uh, but like I said, our readout doesn't tell us speeds anymore because our treadmill isn't, uh, isn't uh, brand new or anything like that. So oop, pay attention. Good job. 
so then I'm going to just slow him down. We're not going to go from a full jog to a complete stop. We're going to slowly let him um, come down in speed. But he loves to run on the treadmill. He would do it for um, probably hours if we let him. Um, but this is a good way to see the difference progression between a dog that's just learning like Harley and not going very fast. Nix and a dog that loves to run on the treadmill, how they can go up to a, a light jog quite quickly and then enjoy running there for, um, we cut him short today, but for up to 20, 30 minutes is no problem at all for a dog like Nick. So thanks for watching. We're happy to answer your questions about training. So if you ever see a post and you have a question on how we made that happen, definitely reach out, ask us questions. We're happy to explain how we get our dogs to run on a treadmill. So thanks for watching and remember to like um, our videos and subscribe to us on Facebook. Mm -hmm.